Hello all and welcome back to another episode of Legend of the Woodwork, where we play through some Sonic and Culture. To their completion, much to my dismay today. I was saying today, honestly, Advance 3 hasn't been that bad so far, surprisingly. I was expecting a nightmare after Advance 2, but this really hasn't been that bad. As you can probably tell from the daily uploads so far, it's uh, actually been a very easy game to complete. Editing hasn't actually been as bad as I was expecting. So let's go get all those medals. So if you saw the last part, you know what we're in for. We, uh, we're gonna get all the gold medals. I'm gonna get all the silver and bronze too. I'm just not gonna show them because, you, as you can probably assume, I'm just gonna play it like I'm going for the gold, and then once I can actually see the medal, I'm just gonna stand around until a lot of time passes. Then I collect it, and then I get the medal because the only thing medals care about is your time. But this isn't like 3D Sonic, where they have proper scores. But even your ring count doesn't matter. So yeah, unlike in the last video where I was being a bit unique, I, this time I'm probably going to be a bit more consistent in my teams. Like, finding the Cream Sonic duo that I use support is a really good pairing just in general. So anyway, I went through this entire level not telling you about the time you need. So, gold you have to beat a time of 90 seconds, which I did, minute 18. Silver is a minute 30, and then 2 minutes 30. And then bronze, of course, is anything slower than 2.30. And since I'm already talking about times, act 2, gold time is anytime less than 2 minutes 15 seconds, uh, silver is anytime between 2 minutes 15 seconds and 3 minutes 15 seconds, and then bronze is slower than 3.15. I really wish the game spelled this out more, so I didn't have to explain it. This particular stage, I'm very glad I went with the flight character, because I end up flying a lot. Having Sonic's insta boost is really nice. It's, I would almost sorry, but it's better to play as literally any one other than Sonic, so you can have his tag boost. You're trying to be able to use all the boost functionality, but even that, like, you go off on those boosters, you still boost. You don't need the tag action. You keep waiting for a booster to show up, and it just isn't showing up. Come on, this is Route 99, you're supposed to see boosters everywhere. And it's Dimps, the boot, like, come on. Proof of the means raw! Whatever, so, uh. Not. Nah. Well, okay. <laughs> Now, so I just end up collecting and discussing keys. I might just show up how many I got by the end of all this. I think the lowest number of any of the zones I have so far is four. That's from Cybertrack. Jack, you missed the last video. I was insane. I went for all of the endgame zones first. Yes, I did. I wouldn't exactly call it a good idea, but I did it. That is a boost off. Finally, I'm not even sure I was charging up that tag. I really didn't need it. So, and second now, zones, get the over capacity because. We're in, okay, yeah, no, I recognize it. This is the other stage. I hope you enjoyed that really smooth looking at finisher for the level because I'm probably never going to be able to repeat that. Ever. So, Act 3, I up going through this and Hill Planets beforehand. That's why I have the multiple medals on it. Again, I'm getting the silver and bronze on screen anyway, so not a big deal. This one has a lot of sea sauce and pulleys. They figured out pretty quickly the top route is the way to go here. So, another level that's flight characters. Clearly, they intended you to play as Tails here. Or at least he likes his tag actions, but Cream is almost as good, right? And she has overpowered too. You know the bunny. So I just laughed at the concept of Cream being the most overpowered character in this mini series, I suppose. I feel like somebody at Dims or Sonic from a Sega somewhere thought the same way too, because it happened over and over for a while, and it was so funny. Every time it happened, like, it didn't happen every time, it was like, 
Like, the Sonic Heroes that didn't, she was pretty well balanced there. Like, does this think she's Bailey one of the weaker flight characters? But nah, honestly, they're all the same. It's, you're never gonna utilize their individual characteristics anyway. I'm pretty sure they all have identical thunder shoots. Maybe you'd accidentally throw off a dummy ring of Tails or Rouge if you were lucky. Or Stink Charmy. I don't think I've ever gotten the Chow attack from Cream. I feel like I learned about that one from reading about it in the structure manual. That being said, I probably pulled off like twice during the LP and I just don't remember because it's not a hero so you all the finish. Alright, so um, I didn't go over score time to need here, so act three. Uh, for gold time you need to be two minutes, which I just barely did, but I did it. Then silver is between two minutes, three minutes, and bronze is up to three minutes. And for the boss here, uh, you, have to, you have to be a minute 45 for gold, then a minute 45 and 215 for silver, and then over 215 for your bronze. Now, uh, fortunately, it also includes the. the Gamarl. I never remember this thing's name. It's a Marl, but it has a G in its name, so it's Gamarl. It's basically a Marl. So, uh, for reasons unknown, uh, Xiao still has not received a nerf. It's not a substantial one. But there are some bosses where it's not really that great on. It wasn't really that good back on Cybercrack, for instance. It was pretty much useless on that boss. But this is not one of those bosses. It works totally fine. Probably would work better if I wasn't partnered with Sonic, but I didn't really feel like changing after using that duo for three acts. That is the obliteration of the Ignis device. I refuse to speak over that line. I morally refuse. Anyway, alright, we are done with Group 99. And we got all our golds, and yeah, like. Keep saying, got the silvers and bronzes off screen. I got the silver immediately after this too, and it went about the same. Just stand around the metal. So, no big deals there. Alright, so Sunset Hill Zones, still using Ping and Sonic. And I know I'm really turning to a broken record, but it's level design memorization. Like, reactions are only gonna get you so far here. Especially the zone, because it is a freaking labyrinth for here, and honestly, in the next few zones, I gotta say, I'm still probably gonna have to wait for them or so, it's really labyrinthy. Then, again, like back to Cybercrew, I when I was talking about that, yeah, I said memorization, optimization line, and here it is again. Once again, having boost is really handy, being able to fly is really handy. And I'm not even sure if I'd be able to beat the times I needed to if I was using the character that couldn't fly. Maybe if it was a Tails the partner, maybe? Even then it would be just barely. Anyway, uh, time's need for this level. Uh, for gold you have to beat uh, 145. 145 and a 245 for silver, and then bronze is above 245. Honestly, a lot more difficult than you would think. Especially given the time I ended up actually getting. Also, I ended up learning from this that at level when you go over water as cream, you don't fall, you get a full floaty, which is absolutely precious. Yeah, got over 30, which is obviously less than 145, so that's fine. Next two, still using Cream and Sonic. Very glad that I have Sonic's boost attack out, because Sonic himself can't even make it up that hill. I ran into that issue before. Because there's a Chow up there, and it's just cruelly taunting you. Looking at now, I feel like. 
it was intended to have you use the tag action. I think the way I did it, if I remember right, was I like, just jumped through at the right time, which it worked. You could also go back to the whole event, but there was other options. Yeah, scoring in for this one, uh, you gotta beat a oh, minute 30 seconds for gold, minute 30 seconds, two minutes 30 seconds for silver, and then bronze has to be over 230. Thankfully, this one actually isn't too bad. I consider this one substantially easier than Act 1. And Act 3 seemed like it was going to be really bad until I switched teams and then they got substantially easier, so I think it might have just been a bad team up. So I was trying to do Cream Sonic and it just wasn't working. There's our gold, because obviously that's less than 130. Act three, and I, as I was to before, I switched to Knuckles and Tails, and yeah, Knuckles kind of breaks this level in half, even more so when he can fly, ish, and double jump. But yeah, I've seen some people that have gotten substantially faster times than what I did here too. So being able to beat the times that they mentioned here was absolutely attainable. By the way, I haven't done any of these particularly crazy shortcuts so far. Everything I've done so far, I can still pull off the frame. But I think we would probably be able to do it faster. But there is still some optimization here, mind you. It's not a totally free ride. There's a raft here where I started doing some non-flight things. I say that as if I didn't have tails in my group. Yeah, here I started climbing. You might have been able to just barely get a flight off of this. I felt pretty good about finding that one. And again, you can climb up here. And congratulations, we just skipped like 60% of stage. So, uh, the times you need for this stage. Uh, for gold, you have to be at 245. For silver, you have to be somewhere between 245 and 345. And then bronze, you have to be slower than 345. And since there was Gizzard before, you gotta fight him again, although it's the first iteration, so it's really easy. There's no reason they're expecting you to be able to get a 245 here, despite all the level we had before. This really isn't that hard. And got the medal, and uh, this is it for Sunset Hill because I got the gold medal first time around. But I still got the silver and bronze on my own time. But it, 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 this is all you're going to be seeing in this video. All right, Ocean Base. Uh, I've only got two stages here because Act One, I literally got every medal already back in story mode, and I beat the boss with the gold medal first time around as well. So nothing really to note there. Instead, I'll still go over all of the times you need. So, starting with Act 1, you needed 3.30 or less than. Silver between 3.30 4.30, and then Bronze you needed 4.30. So, that being it. Then, Act 2, just what we're doing now. You need less than 3.30 for gold, and 3.30, 4.30 for silver, and 4.30 and over for Bronze. This was a surprisingly strict one, not to mention all the but just putting one of them being at the stage. I think Act 3 had that problem as well, if there was an easy way to get around it. And yeah, I'm still using Knuckles and Tails because I figured out pretty quickly the value of the double jump. I did try a Sonic Tails combo for a while, but a while. It's like one or two attempts as far as like, nah. No, this is better. And yeah. I didn't really feel like this was to anyone else. And maybe there was a better combo here, but I didn't really feel like I had a reason to try to switch it up. That ended up being true for Act 3 as well, but 
the double jump is just too good. I don't remember when I was going for the channel, how I did so sneaky, sneaky exploit if you would even call it an exploit, where I would jump up here to let me quickly get to the end stage. Yeah, I'm doing that again. Also, high crusher. That crusher, uh, I will be surprised if it actually killed anyone from its intentional purpose. So it's like, maybe if you weren't paying attention, I could believe it, but otherwise, I uh, 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 uh. Might have been up there, I do not want to waste time trying to find out though. Pretty sure there wasn't. It's pretty sure that's just gonna stop and then I have to. Oh, wait. That's a bit painful just in case, but uh, then I remember that I was playing as Knuckles. Another question, that one actually could see me jump so much. It's a much tighter space. I'm so glad I'm taking off the path. There's, there's two crushes along that lower one. Right. I think I got axed two and three confused before. But, and now, nah, I did see her. The other stage that I didn't get. Three. Yeah, for both these, I've gotten the silver and bronze. I think Act 3, I already have them both. Act 2, I think I just had bronze. I think it's silver at another point. It's probably when I was training it for gold. Maybe it was bronze, but I, I, I don't know. It's one of the two. But anyway, uh, time sheet here. Uh, you need to be two minutes for the gold. You need two minutes, three minutes for a silver, and then over three minutes for a bronze. And then for the boss, you need to be a 145, which is laughable. But that is very, very easy. And the silver needs a 145 to a 215, then bronze needs to be over 2 minutes 15 seconds. This is really not a hard boss at all. For some reason, that boss wasn't designed thinking that you would have a way to get up to fit. So, like, Use cream for Amy's tag teams. They'll shred it in half. I'm assuming you even need it. I didn't have either of those characters unlocked when I went through, and I still got a gold. But it's clearly not necessary. I damage boosted the whole thing. It's fine. We're basically at the end of Act Three now. Yep. So. This is it for my stint in uh, Ocean Base, at least as far as y'all are going to see, I still have to get medals for the boss, but again, I'm not showing that. Alright, so Toy Kingdom, uh, every stage in the zone and presumably in Twinkle Snow, uh, Snow as well, I decided I'm just going to go ahead and get the silver and bronze done first, so that there is no longer any room for doubt <laughs> that I'm getting the golds. I know, I'm broken record. I'm just studying stages. I did start changing my uh, character sections a little bit more. The only real thing of note I have to add is that I got the gold in the box already, so I won't be showing that here. Also, you can break the boss in half by using cream big surprise. Specifically, I used cream and cheat. Cream and tails. Because, uh, I found in that combination, uh, Cheese will actually attack multiple enemies with a single attack, which is really good for the toy soldiers. So I guess if for whatever reason you're struggling on that encounter, go with Cream and Tails. I think I beat it for several tens of seconds to spare before I even had to be unlocked. You really need the help, okay? Anyway, uh, for this stage, uh, need uh, 2 minutes 45 seconds if you want to get the gold, 2.45 to 3.45 for a silver, and then if it's slower than 3.45, then you get a bronze. I've got to keep my traditions in kit. Ouchie ouch. I'm not even playing right now, and I still feel pain looking like that. It's like, not like I... 
probably the one combination I'm not super thrilled that I went with. I ended up figuring out pretty quickly, you can't even see my gameplay here, like, I don't trust the boxes. I've had too many bad experiences with them. I died several times, hoping against hope that I would get the spring and no, nope, get the spike. That's the point where I think the other two times I went through a screen, not even because I feel really great at, but just because I didn't want to kill the spikes. Yeah, I got to do one like that for 245, so. Got past it, no issues. I really see how I did one of these. I probably did it for Act 2. Yeah, Act 2 I did. And then I picked Sonic because I wanted the boost. Not really much else to it. I knew I was already going to get verticality because I had cream, so. Might as well get the Skeety Boy. I suppose the world's in that case. Mostly. I, I still can't break the strong container, but. It was mostly for Chow anyway, so who cares? So, Act 2 here. The gold time you need is to be faster than 2 minutes 30 seconds. For silver, you need 2.30 and 3.30, and then for bronze, you gotta be slower than 3.30. Again. Like, honestly, I don't feel like King Dr. Zayton is too much. As much as some of the others, but you do need it still. Also, a healthy distrust of uh, those boxes go, go miles for you. What happened there? Oh, I think I got knocked back by one of those enemies. Where's the damage me though? Other things can slow you down a bit if you're slow at it, too. I will say that much. There's not really a lot of strategy you put into Like, if you have Tails as a partner, or any of them that can knock you up like Amy, then you can have them throw you up. But I didn't really need it in that particular instance. And this one of those levels were a big surprise. Take the top half, you'll probably go faster. already basic in stage. There's this three-way. I feel bad for anybody that did this to Sonic and Tails or Amy Cream because they have tricks and you're gonna never really want to do tricks and you're gonna miss your targets and it's, it's, it's horrible. It's horrible. And Act 3, Knuckles Tails. Okay, yeah, no, I, I know it's not yet. So, uh, Knuckles I went with because I found some really big walls that Cream just wasn't able to fly over. At the very least, she wasn't able to fly over it fast. That and the mini boss. Mind you, Cream's not necessarily a bad fighter, obviously not. She destroys bosses. Look at that. That's one to see expression. So there's the shortcut I used back when I got the chow back in that video. I didn't realize it was the big shortcut back then. I knew it was going to be a shortcut, but I didn't realize it was going to be that good. But the other than that, same strategies every other time. Gotta optimize. It's not fun. It's not fun to talk about either, but I think that box here is consistently always a spring. So I think that one's safe to take. I'm not certain on that fact. It could still have spikes, but I never had a spike show up out of it, which is really rare. Like, even there, on that box right there, I jumped out, you saw a spike come out of it. I have a shield, and I still don't trust them. I think that's all I have to say about the matter. Here, um, yeah, don't do that. Uh, what you should do is take the middle rocket, flip that up. Take the left one again because that one looks away. But what you should do is take the middle and then hold right. If I'd been playing this in an optimized fashion, I would have done that. But anyway, I'm running out of time here, so uh, the times you have to do uh, 245 or under is the gold, 245, 345 is the silver, and 345 and over obviously is the bronze. Then the boss, because I'm not going to be showing here, 
under 230 is the gold really easy considering you will know exactly when he's vulnerable. Uh, 230 to 3 minutes for the silver and then over 3 minutes for the bronze. Yes, as I was gonna say, I think we're almost at the mini boss section, which we are. It's the same strategy it is every time you fight this guy, you just don't give any regard to your rings, just run straight into him. It works. There's no countermeasures to it. I'm just sitting there waiting, like, come on, let me go, let me go! I'm being dangerously close to running out of time. Again, it's only 245. But there, made it. Got the gold for all this. Of the. I want to say Toy Canyon. Toy Kingdom stages. Okay, Twinkle Snow Act 2. Twinkle Snow it was the last zone of the game I need to worry about because last video, as I said previously, I handled everything after this point because I was a rebel. By which I mean I did Alter Emerald, then I did Non Aggression. Then I did Chaos Angel and then I ended on Cybercrack. So, uh... Everything else, I'll be telling you goes over Bronze Brawl stages, even the ones I'm not showing in this video, so... Act 1, for a gold, you needed uh, faster than 2 minutes 15 seconds. You needed 2.15 to 3.15 for Silver, and then 3 minutes 15 seconds are over for a Bronze. Then, Act 2 here, you needed... 3 minutes 30 seconds to run under for gold, 3 minutes 30 seconds, 4 minutes 30 seconds for silver, and then 4 minutes 30 seconds or above for the bronze, and I picked Sonic 2, 3 minutes 19 here for one reason and one reason alone. So, so much water. It's like, it wouldn't be so bad if it was just the timer. Like, there's workarounds for that, like, you could wait around for it. The water pockets where you just optimize your movement underwater so well that it doesn't matter, but... Then I figured out that the water bubble also preserves your movement and makes it work as if you're playing on land. And yeah, no, that, that, that settled it. <laughs> there is no way I was using another team. Plus, I just generally like Sonic's movement when he's third of frame. Like, the side dash slash homing attack is really nice. Mind you, Dim's homing attacks, the games they work on, tends not to be very good. But I still appreciate having the option. Even if this is almost certainly the worst instance of their homing attacks. I think it's weird always homing attacks too close to the ground, so I end up running a little bit, and then, oof, because I'm running and not attacking, I get hit! So yeah, uh, what the obvious tip would be the Sonic Cream, so you can breathe underwater aside, there's not really much I can offer in terms of advice. Honestly, even the old optimization thing, like, it only goes so far. There are some cool, but locations for things, like, there are a lot of bottomless pits, <laughs> because GBA and Screen Crunch aren't always gonna know where you're going, so there are some loops of faith. Oh, yeah, that's really how I can add to it. Like that, there's no way I could have known that was coming. There's absolutely no way. Thankfully, it didn't matter too much. Still made it under the 3.30 that I needed. Absolutely got the gold. Right now for Act 3, also ended up using Sonic Cream. I... And uh, the time you need here for the gold needed 3 minutes or faster. The silver you needed... Oh, that was second time. Okay, whoever typed this out says you need... Three minutes for the gulp. They say you need three minutes thirty seconds for this. I'm gonna assume it's three thirty. So three thirty to so to four minutes. Then four minutes or above for the bronze. Then the boss you need a minute thirty seconds or faster for the gold. A minute thirty to two minutes for the silver. Or two minutes over for the bronze. And I end up using Tails Amy. Well, it's kind of curiosity because I haven't really played with Tails much at all. Oh, you didn't made it. Like, 
know how Amy would be able to sabotage him, and she really doesn't. Like, it's probably the best pairing Tails has for himself. Like, his flight speed is drastically sped up. Like, it's the only flight of any sort in these games that actually feels like it moves at a speed that's worth using. He gets access to Amy's hammer, which is useless for the boss, but it's still neat. Means you have an attack while flying, you're not totally helpless. So a lot of things to honestly I'm kind of blanking right now because I've been at this all night and it is now 6.35 in the morning, so I can send help. Looks like I want to be overdone with this game. Despite the fact that I've had time recording this, I've only managed to upload Route99's video. Don't ask questions. That's about the, yeah, I'm right at the end now. I I recognize that slope a little too well. That's too well. I ended up getting a better time than acquired for the goal by almost a minute. Potentially over a bit, depending on whether or not there was a typo involved. So there's not really any more footage I can go with here, but uh, thank y'all for watching. <laughs> Next time is going to be the bonus modes, like the special stage, and uh, I think there's a boss rush that gets unlocked for getting all the gold medal, so I'll check that out, I guess, or whatever it is that gets unlocked. I'm not expecting to do full video but on those individually. Especially because there's no completion criteria tied to those, but I think a one-off is fine. Anyway, until then, thank y'all for watching. Until next time, take care, stay safe.